In a previous video, we went through a complete, fully automated Windows 11 installation, creating a super clean, debloated OS that bypasses those annoying Microsoft hardware and account requirements using an XML file that essentially told Microsoft to install itself while we kicked back and watched. If you missed that, the link is in the description below. Definitely check that out. That left us with a clean Windows 11 installation with no software, Microsoft or otherwise. So today, we're gonna mass install all of the software we want on our clean PC. Let's get into it. So now you've got this pristine Windows 11 environment, but it's a blank slate. The next big task, installing all your essential programs and third-party applications. Clicking through individual installers for every app can take ages. Well, today, I'm going to show you a fantastic tool that makes this process incredibly fast and simple. It's called Winstall. What is Winstall? Essentially, it's a web-based GUI or graphical user interface for the Windows Package Manager, also known as Winget. See Linux users? I'm introducing them to package managers, one step closer to our master plan of wiping Microsoft out for good. Just kidding. What I'm not kidding about is that unregistered copy of Windows you're still using. Check out today's sponsor. Are you using an unregistered version of Windows 11? Then you need to check out Keyspan.com. Keyspan offers a wide range of products including Windows 11, Windows 10, and even older versions like Windows 7. Need Office software? They got you covered with keys for Office 2019 and Office 2021. And here's the best part. You can save big with exclusive coupon codes by using my code RK250 to get 50% off all Windows series. That means you can get Windows 11 Pro for less than $20. But wait, there's more. For Microsoft Office, you use my code RK262 to get a massive 62% off. Buying is super easy. Just add your chosen product key to your cart, apply the coupon code, and pay securely via PayPal or credit card. You'll receive your genuine activation key in no time. Once you have your product key, go back to the activation page, click on change product key, enter the product key you just purchased, and click activate. Be sure to check out keyspan.com. Winget is a powerful command line tool built by Microsoft that allows you to install, update, and manage software. Winstall takes the complexity out of Winget by letting you browse and select apps visually, and then it generates a script to install them all in one go. It's like Nanite if you're familiar with that, but with the backing of Microsoft's official package manager repository and a much wider selection of apps. Yes, this is a Microsoft repository, but it's not limited to Microsoft apps. It has all of the third-party apps, including the free and open source ones we love so much. The good news is, since Windows 11 usually comes with Winget, as part of the app installer from the Microsoft Store pre-installed, there are often no extra steps to get started. We're gonna leverage this on our clean Windows 11 installation to get fully set up in minutes. But it's not limited to a clean installation. You can use this to update all of the existing third-party apps on your PC, or use it to create a script of all of your existing apps you want to install on a new PC you purchased. Let's get started. Okay, I cheated a little bit. I went ahead and installed Google Chrome because I refuse to use Edge. We're gonna head over here to Winstall's website. So I'm just gonna type in Winstall in Google. It's gonna be this one right here. I'm just gonna click this link. Okay, this is the website. You see a search box right here where you can search for apps, which we'll do in a moment. Right here on their main page, they've got just some popular apps just so you can kind of see what they've got. And I'll grab two of these right here. So I'm gonna click on OBS Studio. Once you click on it, it gives you all of the information. And we're just gonna click the select app. Now that's gonna add it to our list and create the script. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go down here and grab ShareX. Same thing, I'll click select app. We now have two apps. Now we'll start here with the search box and I'll just type in some random apps that I would definitely normally use. First up, we'll do LibreOffice. I'll click here on LibreOffice. Same thing, all of the information. I'm gonna click select app and then I'll do a little search for local send, which is one of my favorite apps. You can go watch the video on that one. 
We'll go ahead and add Rust Desk, which is a free and open source remote desktop application. One of my favorite apps. And I'm going to add Better Bird. It's a new desktop email application I've been using instead of Thunderbird. I'll be doing a video on that one soon. I'm going to select App. And I'll grab Brave Browser. And I think that should be enough for now. Obviously, there's more programs I would add, but for this video, we'll just grab these few right here. Now that I've added that one, I'm going to come down here to Create Script. And then as you can see right here in the box, it's created the script for us. And all we have to do is copy to clipboard. That's it. You can download and run a batch file, but the cleanest and easiest way that I know will work without us having to do any intervention right now is copy the script to our clipboard. So we're just going to do that method for now. And you can see that it says copied. So we have just copied that script there to our clipboard. And now all we have to do is click down here in the search box. We're going to type in terminal and we're going to click right here on this command prompt app and make sure you click run as administrator right here. We're going to tell it yes for the user account control. And then all we have to simply do is paste that script that we copied. So just do control V and that will paste that entire script in there. And that's it. Now all you got to do is hit enter and it's going to do everything for us. There will be one prompt. It's going to ask us if we agree to the software agreement. So it's just like one agreement for all of this stuff that we're about to download. We're just going to tell it yes. And now it's going to download a couple of dependencies that I needed here for one of the programs, probably OBS Studio. But after that, I shouldn't have to do anything. At this point, you could get up and walk away and then come back when it's done and all of your software will be installed. So it's going to take about 10 or 15 minutes to go through here and install all of the software that we selected. So I'll fast forward through this part and we'll pick back up when the installation is done. But while we're here on this screen, see this is Winget. This is the actual application that comes with Windows 11. And Winstall just makes it easier. It gives us a graphical user interface so we can go in there and select all of our software instead of having to create these scripts. It just does it all for us. And you'll see it come through here one by one. It'll download the software, then it'll run the installer and set it up. All right, and as you can see, it's all done and it's taken us back to our prompt. So at this point, all we've got to do is close everything out and we should see all of our new software right here on the desktop. And look at that. Everything installed. We'll go ahead and click on a few of these and show you that they work. And there's our Brave browser loading up. And there's our ShareX loading up. And that's all there is to it. A fully automated bulk installation. And there you have it. If you watched the first video, we did a fully automated bloat-free installation of Windows 11. And now we have automated installing all of our software post-installation. Overall, the Winstall app is an absolutely indispensable tool for anyone setting up a new Windows PC or like in my case, building upon a clean, automated Windows 11 installation. We will do a future video on how to leverage Winget to mass update all of your existing apps. So, what are your thoughts on Winstall? Will you try it? Let me know in the comments below. If you found value in this video, please like and share the video and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you check out some of these other video suggestions and definitely watch that automated installation video. And as always, thank you for watching and until next time.